Oh, it's well, welcome you guys. Okay, well overdue. I don't even know why we just haven't done it. We just haven't done it. Um, but it's been some years since we've done a host to post training. And so we are excited to do this training for you guys just to give you a refresher to make sure that you are effectively using host to post because we see that a lot of people are not. And it's crazy because it is an easy thing to implement into your everyday life. I'm telling I'm talking about everyday life. I wasn't lying last night. If you was on that training. And she was like, well, do you host the post? How, how many you get up a day? I host the post every single day. Do I get up five to 10? No. Um, some people, shout out to you if you want to, but I do not. And I still am the top enroller on this team. <laughs> come for me, okay? <laughs> come for me. <laughs> no, I was just saying. But no, but for real, come for me. Like I do, I do like competition. So um, it's an effective, I have a busy life. You guys know I have four kids, a husband and a dog. And those of you guys, I don't, I know some of you guys know who Brittany is, but I, I want Brittany, give, give them a short glimpse of your story as well as who you are, where do you live, all that. Hey y'all. So um, my name is Brittany. I've been a part of the business and part of the squad for 10 years. I celebrated 10 years in February. Um, yes. <laughs> and so I started this business. I was a new college grad, um, had been in the work field for a little bit, working two jobs, seven days a week, had really nothing, little to nothing to do with the degree that I went to school for. Um, and I saw my friends doing a business and I low key was like, y'all not about to leave me out. I was jealous because they went on a trip and all of this stuff and was talking about how they were going to make a whole bunch of money. Um, and I was like, eh, but y'all got to include me too. And so um, I had tried the products though prior to joining the business and I had thought about the idea, but once I saw them moving without me, like that's what made me go ahead and say, okay, like, let me go ahead and quit playing. Um, and so started the business, um, didn't really know what I was really doing, but once I watched my training video, so if you have not uh, watched your training videos, that's when I made the decision that I was not going to quit. Like in the training videos, going through the, the like watching, you know, them talk about the, the business, the opportunity, the products. I'm like, okay, they doing this simple stuff. Like, I'm not going to say that I didn't think it was hard because the type of personality that I am, I'm like, it's going to take me some time to get comfortable doing this, but this is simple. And if they are making a whole bunch of money doing this simple stuff, I can make a whole bunch of money doing this simple stuff too. I'm going to make the decision right now to figure out, you know, and no matter how long it takes, I'm going to figure it out and figure out how I can make this work for me. So um, quitting was never on the table, even though for the next four years, like I dibbled and dabbled in the business. I would um, come to all the events, but, you know, I wasn't truly, truly connected. Um, and it had nothing to do with my belief in the opportunity in the products. It had everything to do with my belief in myself. Um, and if I would be willing to do the work to actually make this be a successful and lucrative um, business for myself. And so as I kept sticking around, coming around, going to conference, going to events and just seeing the team thrive, I was like, you know, it just came to a point. So it was like, why not me? Like everybody is coming into this business, um, you know, or has been around and they're thriving and I'm the only one that's not thriving and I'm not not capable. Like, you know, it was just why not me? And so I had that, that aha moment, but I'm going to tell you this personal and spiritual development is, is essential because I was doing all the personal development. I was going to the conferences and things like that. And so I was personally developing, but I was not spiritually developing. And it wasn't until I started doing the spiritual development with the personal that I actually started to um, believe in myself and believe in who God made me to be and who he called me to be. And that was the game changer um, for me. So if you're not doing both, you need to do both. Both are essential. You can't you know, just do one and think that that's going to be enough because it's not. Um, and so fast forward after, you know, I had a, a talk with myself and I was like, you, you got to get it together. Um, I just decided, you know, and they say everything just starts to happen when you decide. And that's real. Like I literally just decided that I was going to do what it take, what it took to be successful. I was going to implement the things that I had been taught over the last four years, like I was actually going to walk and move. And from then on, I was able to find my groove and my stride in this business and also help other people find their groove and their stride in this business as well. So I am now a double diamond with the uh, with the business and I am going triple and going ambassador. Like I'm going the, the whole way. And ambassador was never 
on my radar. Double Diamond was, because I saw Rachel's Double Diamond check, the first Double Diamond check she had. I said, okay, that's my spot. That's my spot. I'm going double. And, um, but once I, I really understood um, what we do here, um, how me going Ambassador Diamond is not about me, and it's about everybody that's connected to me, I was like, okay, like I'm buying into Ambassador Diamond because that means that I get to not only change a lot of lives, but I get to draw a lot of people to God because that is what we do here on the squad. And that is, again, one of the things that transformed my entire life. So <laughs> good. So good. Um, it's been a blessing to be able to watch your journey and be a part of that. And so shout out to you. I'm excited about everything to come. And that's what happens when you stay here for a while. You just begin to want more. So let's talk about why host of Like, why should you do host of Um, For me personally, I, I believe that host of is a great way to build your network. And what I love about host of is because I love a good hood jam. I just couldn't help myself. What I love about host of is that um, post the post, it gets me in front of people who want to hear about what I post about. Okay. Like when I'm posting, if I got a whole bunch of host the post people on my post, they want to see about making money. They want to see about the products. And so that's great. Why wouldn't I want my friends list filled with people who are interested in my products and interested in my business? And then they fall in love with my family. And then yep. they order from me like that. That's the whole point of it. It's a way to build your network. It's a way to have a party on somebody else's page. Um, it was it's essentially a cheat code to everything in person. What? Why else, Brittany, would you say host the post is is effective? Yeah. So that's the biggest thing is um, it allows you to build your lead list, but not just random people. It allows you to build your lead list with people who want to hear about what you have. So that's the that's the main reason why um I love to build host to boat build my host to post. But my personality, so host to post changed the game for me because I uh I'm like really shy. And so or I was I was <laughs> really shy. And so I was and I was prideful. And so the way that we used to build prior, it was like, I don't want to ask nobody to help me out and try my product. Like, I don't want to do that. And so host to post actually took that pressure off of me. And so it's literally like um, you walking into a store. So when you walk in the mm -hmm. store, the clerk just is helping you find what you need and helping you check out. And so that was the position that it put me in. People are walking through my store and I'm just giving them the information that they desire, that they need. And then I'm just helping them check out. And so it did a mental shift for me and it allowed me to really go hard um, and really uh, get out of my own way, you know, in terms of my fear. And now, because I just, I've done it so much. Now I don't care about sending cold messages, but at the Seriously. beginning, you know, I, I, I did care about it. And so it was a way to still effectively build, um, and not be in my own way. So that's one way, I mean, one reason that I love to build, um, host to post, but it also gives, um, when somebody posts on their page, um, the people are more likely to buy because their friend is posting about it versus, you being somebody that they do not know um, and you just asking and reaching out, they trust their friend most of the time. And yes. so if their friend is posting about it, then it just gives a third party validation on, you know, okay, maybe this is real. Okay. Maybe these do work because my friend posted about it. Cause I get a lot of that on the phone. Like, oh, I saw such and such put it up. So I know it was real, you know? And so mm -hmm. that gives you another level of validation, um, for your products and your business. So those are the two things outside of what you already said. Yeah. Um, it's why it's good. So good. And then I would say um, when there's so many, it's effective. I think that's another thing. Like it's literally effective and it, you you never know whose post is going to pop. Like mm -hmm. you just never know. It's actually the most, the weirdest people that you send it to is like, they get the biggest Yes. <laughs> the biggest traction so you just send it to everybody and just ask yes. everybody and so let's talk about how to host the post and so we're going to do a little hands-on when it comes to this there are several ways to host the post my favorite is the page um and there are several ways to ask for host the post too so let's start with um you can host posts on your stories you can host mm -hmm. the post on your page um yes um you can so actually 
I mean, I, you could be creative and do it however, right? Really, you could really yeah. have somebody do a real whatever. Okay. But but it's what we really do primarily page. Um, mm -hmm. but there are some people who do stories as well. And stories do work. Um, mm -hmm. I think pages is easier to keep track of to be able to do your follow-ups, mm -hmm. but um you can do stories as well. What were you gonna say? Um, that was that was pretty much it. But yeah, so the page um is a way you can do TikToks. I've I've seen people do TikToks. I've done TikToks. I did it once. Um and it wasn't as effective <laughs> as I would have liked because some people on TikTok do not have Instagram or Facebook. So that was kind of like the barrier that I ran into with that, but I did get a lot of traction. Um, so maybe Reels versus TikTok would be the best way to do a host post if you wanted to do it that way. Um, stories was really good for me for potential distributors. So uh, as I was building to Diamond and Double Diamond, um, I used to love to do host to post for the business and the stories and then host to post for the products on the page. Mm -hmm. That was um, most effective. Um, but like Rachel was saying, it it was hard to follow up um, with the people or it, stories only last for 24 hours. So, you know, it was hit or miss um, if it was it got a lot of traction because it only stays for 24 hours versus the post on your page. You can bump, you can yes. follow up, you can, um, you know, get it back in the feed to get more comments versus where the story is just one and done. Yes. So I'm going to give you guys an example and then Brittany can give an example as well. So um, my, this is not my number one way. I'm going to tell you guys straight up. I actually kind of don't like this way and it's super lazy. I'm just going to tell you straight up. Um, I normally, if I, I'm going to be honest with y'all tonight, because I'm just an honest person. What I do normally is I go to, I'm going to pull this up so you guys can see it. Um, let me pull up my screen. So typically what I do is I go to one of my friends' pages, okay? And I don't even know if this is going to work, so we're going to see. I'm going to go to one of these friends that I go look at, and we're going to look at Miss Kelly Brown today. And I see if they have a host of posts, um, a post status that they put up lately. Because mm -hmm. they normally come up with the most creative ones. Every once in a while, I will ask Breon and Breon will give me a this or that and I'll put that up. So sometimes I make up my own. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times um, I am stealing from somebody else because, uh oh, what is going on? Oh, can you see me? Hello? Are you yeah. here? Oh, okay. Um, because you want to copy the right cat. That's what we do in this business. <laughs> it's frozen. Okay. So let's see if she has one. Okay, normally she has one like right away. Boom, she does not. So I am going to go and do one of my old ones then just so you guys can see. And you can always grab one from off of our page. Mm -hmm. And um, you're like, what are you putting in here? <laughs> this, is, this is how I'm going to search for my, whoops, see, pop that right away. <laughs> So I'm literally going to use the same one. Now I could always, I've done barbecue sauce on here, um, but I'm going to do this exact same one. And I'm going to just change this to target, target gift card. Boom, boom, boom. And I, and I'm going to explain to you guys why this is my least favorite word. This is my least favorite one to do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to do a light background this time or Brittany, maybe you can explain that while I'm doing this. Yeah. So, um, and another thing that I like to do outside of, you know, telling them that they are going to get in a giveaway. I did this yesterday or earlier today or yesterday. I, I can't remember, but I just did like an interactive post. Um, and then I'll use that as a way to, um, get people to host a post too. But the reason that we don't Normally, this is normally the least favorite is one, it could get bots on it. Two, um, the same people be coming on on it. <laughs> it's like a repeat offender. So and don't ever like, put the post up, Jesus. <laughs> right. And don't ever put it up. So yeah, it, I mean it might pop, but it it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get a host a lot of host posts up because it pops. Normally, I do get a lot of host posts up, but I get frustrated with the people who comment every single time <laughs> and, right. and with the posts that don't even open up my message. So it's just me being in my feelings. Something mm -hmm. I do when I do these is because you want to post public because I have followers on on Facebook. So I want to make sure all my followers are able to comment on it. 
um, I come here and it says, who can comment on this post? So I click that and I'm going to change this to establish followers and friends um, because that makes it to where the bots typically cannot comment and the spammers cannot comment on my stuff. Every once in a while, I still get them. Um, and then you don't babysit posts. So I'm going to do this and then go about my day. What's what's another way to, so I'll come back to that when we get to. That. Yeah. Um, so another way to uh, find people to host posts, and this is shout out to Kate, you can go to your feeds and go, so I'll, I'll share my screen. What do you mean um, get the post back in the feed so it can get more likes and comments? I'm not sure I understand that. Uh-huh. I don't understand Shanitra's question. What do you mean? Oh, so when you comment or when you, when you comment on a post or when you put a picture on a post or whatever, it just puts the post back in the feed. So it kind of reshares the oh, post. Bumping it. So Got it. Important. Okay. You're asking what is bumping it? So bumping it brings it back into the algorithm. It makes it relevant again. So yes. it, it puts it back in before. Me. Sorry. I didn't understand that. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. So another way um, that you can, so this is my, this is my uh, interactive post. So I actually use this to, um, to um says Travia. Yeah. Well, well she, she did it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it definitely says Travia, not you. Copy, copy the right cat. Okay. Copy the right cat. <laughs> and so the, I do a post like this to um get people to ask for host posts as well. But another way is by going to your feed. So down at the bottom you can see it says feeds and then it comes up and then you can click friends. And these are all the people who just posted. And so nine times out of 10, they'll reply quick because they probably still have their phones in their hand or they have their phones near them because they just posted. Um, so this is a way that I love to um, get a post to post as well. Um, and then I'm like, I like to make things fun. Um, because as a blue, you have to master the mundane and you, sometimes you have to create a game for yourself. So I also like to go to my friends list. Um, so I'll go to my page and then I'll click friends. And for me still right now, it puts them in alphabetical order. And so I'll find a letter and say, for instance, I'm going to scroll down to B. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to play a game with myself and I'm going to give myself a set amount of time and I'm going to say, I'm going to get through all of the people that names that start with B in this time frame and I'm going to ask them to host the post. And so those are the my um, favorite ways to, to go about getting host posts up. So Nini asked about what do you say back to a transitional, um, what's your transitional statement for an interactive post? So what would you say to those people that yeah. you reply to on that interactive post? Now with, um, I, I I like really direct when it comes, so Brittany's going to drop in the comments her reply to the interactive post. But when I, when I am just, um, because I've been doing this for so long and I have such a boldness about what I do, I am reaching out to everybody and saying, hey, I want to make sure that you don't miss out being it because they missing out. OK, you missing out by not being a part of my giveaway. So that's the message that I send. I send, hey, I didn't want you to miss out on being entered into my target giveaway. Do you want to go ahead and throw up a post? I'll handle the comments and I'll enter you as soon as there's likes or comments. Like I like to be very direct because when you beat around the bush, people walk around the bush. I, I'm letting you know this is your for your benefit. Yes, it's going to bless me. Thank you, God. But I got 5,000 friends. Why not one of my friends win, right? So I want to give them the opportunity, but that's also my perspective. So when you have the perspective of I'm blessing you, Okay, mm -hmm. it is blessing me. But when you have that perspective of I'm blessing you, you'll have a different um energy behind what you're saying. I'm for real. It's not like, can you post on my can can you no? And then when people say stupid stuff back, you don't care mm -mm. because I'm blessing you. So when yeah. people be like, Oh, you you can share and tag me. No, boo, that's not what I asked. So God bless you tonight. Thank you anyway. Like I don't or I don't do that. Or and it, it makes it very clear because I'm gonna tell y'all. My page is for one thing and one thing only. It's mm -hmm. to make me money. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you guys, my Facebook is to make me money. If you do not like it. And if you are not here for that mission, you got to go. Cause I only get 5,000 friends. So when people are like, I ain't interested in nothing like that. Oh, boo. 
thank you for telling me because now you got to go you can follow yeah. me but we right. cannot be friends okay uh -huh. i only got a yeah, certain amount of friends before i go what but, you say? Um, i said and i'm gonna take some of your friends before i go too. <laughs> sometimes i don't want uh, your friends okay Attractive, well yeah but... it depends it depends mm -hmm. <laughs> but um no, even though I post, I don't say like giveaway in the post and that's just for algorithm things. Like I just want people to comment on them. I'm literally using it still as a host of posts. So I'm still going to go into the inbox and be direct about why I'm messaging them. I just want to get the comments because it, I like focused stuff. And so it makes me focus on a post focus and get my follow-ups done that's why I don't like to follow up in my inbox and that's for me personally because I'll skip around I jump around no I need focus things that I can go bam 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 and so um I'm still going to be up front in the inbox but I just want you to people like to be heard people like to give their opinion so I'm very much so post, so you can do that um another way for people who have been in the business a long time and you're getting the same people commenting on your host to post or getting only the same people to say yes um or see, only seeing those same people in your feed another thing that I do is if I've given you like two product posts a, a business host post like okay now it's time for me to get in your network and another way that I like to turn over my network and get up post to post is to give the person on my page that's saying yes to posting for me a post about the giveaway that we're doing that month and then it allows their friends to then comment on the giveaway post and want an entry. And then I can message them and ask them like, hey, you know, if you want to get in the giveaway, would you go ahead and put up a post for me? And then that gets me into brand new networks. Yeah. So I have a comment. So I will, and I don't think it's updated, which is fine. Um, but I will, let me see if, um, hey, okay, so I'm getting people, y'all see I'm starting to get comments already, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come here. What I do is I like their comment and then I go see if they're my friend. She's not my friend, so I'm not trying to go to jail super fast. So mm -hmm. I'm going to come and I'm going to send her a friend request. And so because I have so many, what I do is I'll just do that for the everybody. See, look at this. All these people follow me. Y'all understand this is why you post public. And so mm -hmm. I'm just going to come in. Oh, that's my auntie. Hey, auntie so funny um and then she's my friend but i'm still gonna like it and then we got one here did she say polynesia sauce okay i feel that <laughs> she said mayo by itself though like riddle me that but i guess i, I like mayo mixed with ketchup but by itself though <laughs> all right so sometimes i will engage and respond like girl what <laughs> like because people, yeah so sometimes i will engage um but i'm gonna come here right and i'm gonna tell her accept my friend request mm-hmm and we can chat only because I've already been in jail. So I'm not going to send her a message. Yep. Um, so that means I'm going to have to come back and send her another message. Mickey mm -hmm. D's barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except my friend request. Okay. If she texts or not, <laughs> but I'm going to, I'm going to do, and I'm just doing this really quick. So, um, I'm not giving it to Monty. Here, I'm going to come here to her, right? So I'm going, the first thing I'm going to do initially, see, look at this. She never even put it up. This this is the stuff I've been talking about right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I'm about to, the last one was in February, which is fine. Um, But I'm going to come here and I'm going to go, I don't believe boards is updated, but I'm going to show you where it normally is. You come to host the post. And if you go to giveaway, there'll be a giveaway message right here. And I'm going to choose this one right here. It says, hey, I saw, oh, I did update it. I saw your comment on my giveaway and I'm so excited to get you entered. The drawing will be on June 2nd. If you win, you'll get a $50 Target gift card. I just need you to throw a post. Boom. So I'm going to send that to her. As soon as she says yes, I'm going to, this is what's not updated. I'm going to come over here to host the post. And there's one that says, where is it? Partner it up. Giveaway. Oh, it's still under here. I'm tripping. So giveaway host to post. It's here. They're not updated. So mm -hmm. I, this is what I'm going to send her and I'll update these. Um, it's going to say I've, I've partnered up to with my friend to give away. So this is her posting, right? Mm -hmm. A target gift card. Boom. I'm going to put the target in there. Tell me below Starbucks. Tell me below what you prefer because I don't know it's kind of incomplete sentence target or Starbucks or target 
I don't know what that was. And then All I'm just gonna gift cards it. that we were getting given away. We were giving away. Boom. Cards. Yep. <laughs> Tell me below. Actually, I'm scratching all of this. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, Tell me your favorite color. Yeah. That's what I normally I need do. an easy color. Birth month. Something like Boom. that. Something like that, right? So that's what I'm going to send her. And then everybody who comments on her post, I'm going to give a product post or a business post to put up. So I'm mm -hmm. going to leave this here until she says yes, but that's how simple it is. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's talk about any questions about any of that. I love that you guys are asking questions. Hey, Michelle. Hey, girl, Michelle. Anybody have any questions? You want to drop it in the comments or if you want to raise your hand, we can get that. Any questions about anything so far? So if you focus on this, I'm going to tell you, if you focus, you can easily within within an hour get up 10 host of posts. I'm going to be honest. The thing is getting distracted or getting, um, oh, thank you, Robin. The thing is getting distracted. Um, you can get up 10 host of posts very, very quickly, especially between mixing up. Oh, I do want to show you guys one more way to send host of posts real quick. The Through your stories. Oh, yeah. Your yeah, stories yeah. Is, is another way that you can send host of posts as well. Um, or you can go to your most recent post. So I'm going to show you guys those ways real mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. Um, so definitely take notes guys, like write this stuff down because, uh, it'll make it to where you're not, you don't run out of ideas, I guess you can say. So recent posts, this is the reason why you always want to do engaging posts, right? Mm -hmm. So I posted my daughter just a little earlier and it has 148, um, comments. I mean, 148 likes on it. Um, but you see it reached 1121. And that's only because I, I have uh, the type of account that I have. I'm able to see all of this. But I'm going to come here to everybody that liked it. And I can send send host of post messages from here too, right? So I can come here, send her a message. And say, so she just did one for me in February. And then I'm just going to send my, one of my favorite, oh, girl, help me. <laughs> Yeah, I love um, um, the interactive post. So like posts that you've done, like personal celebratory posts and stuff like that. Like if you do a birthday post or like you tell somebody, hey, birthday, you know, all those different posts. Like she said, she posted Zoe. I love to just, um, um, again, use that as a way to follow up. Even if I'm not even doing host posts, that's the way I like to follow up. The people who commented to the people who reacted to just a regular post. Um, again, it tailors and it gives me a list of people that I can just go bam, 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 bam. Absolutely. And so the same thing here, I'm going to come here, I'm going to go past the, the distributors and then I will come to um, the, the people who are not distributors and I'll do the exact same thing. So I'll come here, I'll send her and I can send her a message straight from, from my stories. I can, I can either reply to my story, but the best thing about it is I like to just delete it and, um, of course, it's not because it would be, I'll just put her name in, boom, and ask for a host of posts, right? Very simple. Um, and then I can go back and do that over and over again, right from this 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 space, which is, is very easy. Now, sometimes you'll have to make sure that they're not distributors from, you guys may not have that issue as much as I do, but other distributors who are following me, who are just liking my content and watching my content. Mm -hmm. You have a question? Can we please see how to put up the polls? I always have issues with that. Um, so you could also do a giveaway from the polls as well. Um, so uh, putting up a poll, you want to do it, Brittany? Sure. Um, let's see. Okay, so what I like to do, um, if I'm going to do a poll... I like to grab the actual image that Rachel post for the giveaway. And I like to save that. And I like to use that um, to do a poll. And so um, I'm going to use this picture. And then you can see up in the top right where it says stickers. Um, you'll click that. And then you see where it says poll. You'll click that. And you're going to do two um, options that are positive. 
So um, it can be like, yes, yes, sis. <laughs> and then it can be like, how, you know? And so, um, and then for the question part, you can put um, want in entry into my giveaway. And something as simple as that. And put that in there and post it. Are you on Instagram, Nini? Yeah. And if you're going, I normally do it from Instagram, but I know we were doing Facebook, but yes. Yeah. So on Instagram, it's the same thing. You go to the little smiley face and then it says poll. Both of them say poll. So you'll have to send me a screenshot of what you're seeing because you're probably just like overlooking it. Yeah. Send me a screenshot. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So let's move on to follow-ups, which this is the bread and freaking butter of host to post and where most people drop the ball. Okay. You're not signing people from host to post because your follow-up game is weak. And so I'm praying that this time right now changes your life because you have <laughs> to follow up. Like it is the follow-up. And I'm gonna let Brittany start with the follow-up situation. Yeah. And so um Yes, this is this is what I call working your host post and maximizing um, off of getting them up because it's okay to get them up. I mean, it's great, but you want to make sure that they're lucrative, you know, like you're not just getting the post up. And so my favorite way to follow up with host to post is literally going post by post, comment by comment. Yes, it's a little tedious, but I'm telling you, it's very effective because a lot of people are not accepting your friend request and that is why they're not responding. But you're not going to be able to see that if you're not following up through through your host to post. And so um, we'll go back to last month. I like to do my collections and I'll go through um, the, the previous month, but I will go through any of my host post collections. I will go back years, you know, years ago, um, because it's still relevant and people, once people are interested, they're always interested. And so we'll go here. And so, as you can see, this is somebody that po put up a host of post. This is a person who, um, commented. I, you know, reached out, sent her a friend request let her know that I sent um, her a message and then I got a bot on here. So I had to tell them to disregard that. But this is how you want to work your host to post. You want to um, make sure that you're adding them as a friend, letting them know um, that you sent them a friend request. And then once I send them a message, I go back and I say, sent you a message. Um, another way, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm glad I didn't do this one just yet. I'm going to bump this with a before and after picture. And so this is what we mean by bumping. And so after every, um, after I go through all the comments, I don't leave a host to post without bumping it with a before and after picture to get it back in the algorithm. As I'm responding to the comments, as I am um, putting the, the um, picture on there, it's going to get it back in the newsfeed. You can use one of your own before and after pictures or you can use one from the boards. You can use one that you have saved in your phone. doesn't matter. But if you have your own, that's probably the best. Um, and so I'm just going to put a picture on here. And I'm going to put in the comment, um, results. Bam. Now, I will go to the person's page. And then click on their uh, message. And so as you can see, I did follow up. And the last thing was um, asking her to put up a post for me because she hadn't responded back. But we have free aloe now. And so a way to um, do another follow-up is to just send her a message about the free aloe that we have going on right now. I don't have it saved in my boards, but I do got it. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, and so I'm just going to come here, copy this message. Um, it'll be best if you put it in your boards. but And then I'm just going to sit here, sit here, paste it. This gives me another reason to touch base. And so every time we have a sale, I'm going to use that as a reason to follow up on my host of posts. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the exact same thing for everyone else. 
Um, another thing that you can that you can drop in the comments, especially if you're in jail, is your tap link. That's a good thing. So if you haven't created a tap link, a QR code, um, a link of any way, any sort to get to your website or get um, get them to get your information to reach out, um, that is going to be crucial to um, create. So once you get in jail, but another way that I will bump a post is go and comment on every comment and drop my tap link if I have yet to get them to check out. So that's another way to follow up on the host post and to bump it and to make sure that you're being very effective in reaching everybody. Um, and if a person has not accepted my friend request, I'm going to comment on the comment. So that's that's one of the ways that I follow up too, because a lot of times they don't know that they have a message from you. I get in jail a lot, so I don't send them unless they accept my friend request. So that's why I'm really like, only like, hey, have you accepted my friend request? Hey, did you still want information? Um, Because I want them to accept my friend request. But if you are not in that state and you're sending messages, but you're not getting responses, you can't get in your feelings because they're not ignoring you. They don't even know that you have messaged them. And so you want to make sure that if the person has not accepted your friend request, that you're replying to their comment on the post and say, hey, did you get a chance to check my message? Hey, did you see my message? Hey, have you accepted my friend request? Hey, did you still want info? Whatever you want to say, you want to comment again to um, just remind them like, hey, you were interested in this and I'm trying to get you the information. That's really good. Um, I just dropped my, this. I actually dropped this on every, this is one of the ways that I bump my post. Um, I dropped the, um, my tap link and I'll say because there are people who don't want to comment and mm -hmm. you know oftentimes I'll get a message and they'll be like oh such and such wants information and I'm like well does she comment mm -hmm. excuse me and they didn't like or comment so um mm -hmm. this is a great way to to connect in that way um so and then we talked about what do you do when you're in jail um one thing I will do when I'm in jail with following up is to send voice memos and then also I'll pull this up so that you guys can see this. Um, if you've never used the um, the secret inbox, I'm going to show you guys how to get to it. It's also called encrypted. So it depends on what device that you're you're on. Um, I'll just, let's just say my, my, my messages are not sending. Um, I would come, it's, it has to be somebody that you've sent a message to already, right? So I cannot send her an encrypted message because we've never interacted, right? Um, and then, so I'm going to go to somebody that I've sent. So she said, yes. Y'all see that? I got me a yes. So I'm, I'm going to give her the partner to post the post so that you guys can can see how to. So I just had a, look, I got a host post up right here. Boom. I did a, a smoothie one so you guys can see. Because once they put up the host to post, you're going to come here. Hey, tag somebody in it. All right. You're going to hit the three dots and you're going to save the post. You're going to create a host to post for the month that you're in. The, the collection, excuse me, a collection. And then of course you'll come and like it. Um, and I always say thank you in like a hearts or something. I don't normally drop a picture immediately because I like mm -hmm. to go through a process first. So um, that is that. And I'll come back to that one later, but let's go back to um, like here. So this is my friend. So I have talked to her before. So I'll have the opportunity to send her encrypted. What I do is I click her name. You click her name and then it come down. It says, go to secret conversation. You see mm -hmm. that under pinned messages, it says, go to secret conversation. So I'll click that. It'll take me to the end-to-end -end encrypted place. And then normally this will work. Now, sometimes you in big jail and this won't even work. But yeah. no normally when you just go to jail initially, you can still send messages um, through the encrypted, the secret inbox, and it goes to their message request. But typically people get a, they get a alert. They do get alert. Um, I do have people a lot of times answer my encrypted um, message. So as you guys see here, she said yes. So I'm going to send her a host of posts. I have been trying out a new host of posts just to see how it does. Um but I will do, let me go just grab the the one I was going to give to her so I can show you guys if she could put it up. Uh, and these normally, I'm going to tell you, you got to be ready for these because the people be, baby, yeah. um, it goes ham. <laughs> yes. Phone calls is another way. Sometimes when you get um, in jail, um, you're, um, you're not blocked from making phone calls, but they do have to accept your friend request first before you can call them. Um, 
but that's another way. I was just thinking about something else. Boom. Oh, and don't get, don't, if a person, um, you know, is hosting a post for you multiple times, give them different posts. And I don't, I don't know. I just scroll feel like I can see. That. Yeah. Scroll, <laughs> scroll up and see what you've given them. So I did. So I gave her one for hair, gave her one for the tummy trio here. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think she's done the smoothie one. No, she's done the cleanse before. Then another tummy trio. She's never done the cleanse. Um, I mean the, the, the smoothie. So I'll come here mm -hmm. and I'll give her the smoothie host the post to, to throw up. Mm -hmm. Boom. Came on. Um, my fingers are just doing whatever they want to do today. <laughs> Help. Okay. We did to Lord have mercy. No, so, do very simple. Second Facebook page. No. What happened? Um, someone asked the question, do we make a second Facebook page? Absolutely mm -hmm. not. What are we um, making a sec? I guess that's the question is what yeah. do you feel like you need a second page for? If you guys have questions now, we'll, we'll give, we'll give the opportunity. Is there anything else you wanted to add before we ask question, answer questions? Um, let me think. I'm looking at my. I'm going to tell y'all, you have to be consistent. Like this is a brave patient, consistent thing. Mm -hmm. Consistency is the only reason why this is effective for me. Um, so like I said, I may not do 10 host posts a day, but I consistently do host posts. Oh, there is something. So when people say no to something, anything, if they are not ready, what you want to do is you want to effectively utilize the rejection folder in boards yes. that will set you up to do host posts. Like, um, let me show you guys. Okay, guys. Okay. So you okay. don't um have to be their friend necessarily to call them. You just have to have had a conversation with them. So thank you, guys, for that. Awesome. So let's just say she told me no. I'm gonna come here to where this says rejection rebuttals. Mm -hmm. Man, my boards may need to be updated. <laughs> and it says, I'm gonna just copy this here. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's gonna copy and paste anyway. So here, yeah. how about this? Let me um <laughs> let me see. Let me just put it here. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So I'm gonna come here and you see the rejection. So this says no. She so it's like somebody said no. Like I'm not interested. It's okay, no worries. How would mm -hmm. you feel about throw give me a post to throw up on your wall? Blah blah blah. And tear to my giveaway. Now, when they say no to this, they gotta go. I'm gonna be yep. honest. They gotta go. They can't be a part of my friends list mm -hmm. because you don't want my products, you don't want my business, and you don't want to throw up a post on your wall. Boo, you are not here to support me. You got to go. <laughs> I got I need to make room. Okay. <laughs> Straight up. Um, and then if somebody says, Well, I'm just waiting on payday, of course you want to set a date and time for their payday to go ahead and get them signed up. And then mm -hmm. um oops, you want to go to wait until order, giveaway, and it says, Okay, great. In the meantime. How would you mm -hmm. feel about throwing up a post? And then also when they become your customer, that's when I send the whole, you know, go ahead and I ask them again, because I definitely want my customers to mm -hmm. be a part of the giveaway. I want them to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, can you show where it's at in the newbie launch board? Um, sure. So in the newbie launch board, when you go to host the post, which is on day two. Up. Is it on? Is it on here? You know what? It Say might no. be an extra juice. It might be an extra juice or uh, for follow ups. I think it's yeah, the under the follow ups. Okay, yeah, yeah it says said no. Ask for a host of post right there. Mm -hmm. Said no. Ask for a host of post. Waiting to order. Yeah, they're right there. Thank you. Okay. Under follow ups, waiting to order. Okay, great. In the meantime. Yep. Um, so basically what Rachel was saying, never leave a conversation without asking for a host to post. I never leave a conversation because my thought process is everybody is a gateway. Nobody is a destination. My distributors aren't destinations. My customers aren't, um, destinations. My followers are not destinations. Everybody is a gateway into another network that I would not have the opportunity to reach by myself. And so whether somebody says yes, no, or maybe so you never leave a conversation without, 
um, asking for a host to post. Also, the best people to have post for you are the people whose birthday it is because Facebook pushes their post out like nobody's business, kind of like a birthday gift or something to them. And so I love to have those people whose birthday it is. Um, I love to have them host a post for me. And it's basically like, since it's your birthday, like, do you want to enter into my giveaway? Because again, I'm blessing you. Like who wouldn't want a $50 gift card? Who wouldn't want, you know, the things that we give away? And so for me, I'm giving you a gift, a birthday gift by offering you the opportunity to be um, in my host post and a part of my giveaway. And so those are the best people to have posts for you as well. Oh, you're on mute, Rach. Thank you. <laughs> um, trying to show you guys how this works. So if you go and you search birthdays on your Facebook page, um, birthdays will pop up and you will come here and you send a message here. Somebody again who ignores me. It's normal. Okay. It's normal. Excuse me. And then if you go over here to where it says engagement, let me see if that make sure this. Oh my God, my boards is being good. Ambassador okay. Diamond, Double Diamond, we get ignored. Nobody knows what that means outside of here. So they ignore they us don't. too. Who, who we are just you? don't care. Okay. We regular people. <laughs> so if you go to engagement and you go to HBD, it says right here, you say happy birthday. Um, and once they say thank you, Okay, host the post ask. You want to hit the host the post ask. Um, okay, that is not the one that I use. So I'm going to need to get that one fixed. Because um, that ain't even. Ah, uh, Okay. Um, Do I have it under mine? Let me see. Probably do. Sorry, y'all. There it is. Uh, birthday. Oh, right there. HBD. So this is what I. Let me undo this. So I may send right here. It says, have birthday, beautiful, boom. Um, and then if I'm going to do a host to post ask, I say, um, you want to write back the my pleasure. I pray you enjoy your day. And then did you want to enter my cash giveaway or whatever mm -hmm. the giveaway is? Um, mm -hmm. So we'll update. We'll update that as well. So I do the happy birthday. And if you don't call people beautiful, that's fine. That's why it's generic in the, the money squad board, because that's not what I say. It gives it general so that you can put your own flair on it. And then you want to do the my pleasure, enjoy your day, and then hit the, the host to post ask. So that's correct. I just I just personalize mine a little more. So just like that. Thanks, Brittany, for that. My pleasure. And I do do belated ones. And that was the the late reply. Um, mm -hmm. because I'll say my pleasure, I pray you enjoyed your day because it's over. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just did that because it's something that I do consistently. So mm -hmm. it, the mic is open. So if you do have specific questions, go ahead and unmute, ask your questions, um, or feel free to drop them in the comments so that we can address them. Cause we got, we want you guys to feel effective. I will say something that we need to talk about is about submitting your names real quick. So yeah. Number one, it is a $10 buy-in. Why? Because we pull together to be able to give away bigger, bigger things, right? And we've been able to come together to give away a lot of stuff, okay? I mean, like from a Peloton bike to a Louis Vuitton to, um, shoot, a Bal Balenciaga, okay? We didn't give away Balenciaga, y'all, okay? I'm not playing. Like, we, that when we come together, we can give away some really, really nice things, Um We've been able to give out like $100 a week, like giving people, like doing cash giveaways. So that is something that is su super special. So you want to buy in. People who come in the month, like the month that you join, you get to do host the post for free. Um, and then every month after that, you know, it's $10 to buy in. You just send it to Venmo. If you do not have Venmo or something's not right with Venmo, you send it to somebody who has Venmo because all the money stays in Venmo. So you'll need someone to send it to Venmo for you. You just need to ask somebody. And then the names, guys, the, 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 you, I give you until the, the next day after the last day of the month. So just in case you host the post the whole last day of the month, you still have time to get all your names in there. You only put people's names on there if they have likes and uh, likes or comments, excuse me, on their post. Why? Then they cannot be the person who liked their, their post. That ain't gonna work. It needs to be somebody else because we can also connect with people who like, and we didn't talk about that today, but we you can actually come, you can message the likes too, which I highly suggest I doing do. it because a lot of people like, your, like the comments 
and they just don't want to comment, but they are interested. Um, but you just write their names and you submit it. You want to make sure that, so you don't want to put the names on the spreadsheet until it's time to put the names on the spreadsheet because people will take their posts down. So, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yep. So you want to make sure that it's that you want to make sure you're saving your post um, because that's the way that you'll, you know, have the collection right there and you're able to see all the posts that were put up for you. So you can put your names in there. Like she said, um, likes and comments, likes, likes or comments. Um, and yeah, um, don't do it early because people take their posts down and you don't know who took their post down. And then <laughs> we draw the name and then you don't even, you can't even produce the post. So, um, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Um, but yeah, making sure that you are submitting your names because you want to build with integrity. You want to build your business with integrity. So you don't want to be telling people that you're going to enter them into a giveaway and then you don't enter them into the giveaway. And so you want to make sure that you're doing that and you want to make sure that you're buying in. It is super effective. It is an effective way to build your business. Um, and so that $10 that you're sending over to Venmo, you're going to get that plus some, um, if you really tap into a host to post and really allow it to, um, bless your business, you're going to get way more than $10 back, especially, you know, if you're teaching your new distributors that they're getting their one fifties, you're getting your matching bonuses, like that $10 is nothing. So make sure that you're sending that in, um, and if you can't send it in right now, so everybody that's on here that ain't sent their $10 in, go ahead and do it now. If you can't do it now, tell your upline the day that you were going to be able to do it so you can have some accountability to make sure that you send it in. Amen, amen. All right, any questions? Awesome. Well, thank you, Britt. Oh, do we have a question? Uh -uh. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, Michelle. Yes. Um, good evening, everybody. I don't know if you covered this already because I came on a little late, but um, I've been having, I feel like I'm just talking to the same people all the time. So I wanted to know how can I like change the algorithm or even try to gain more. I joined different, different group, groups and I try to, um, you know, gain friends from, from the groups as well but I just feel like I'm reaching the same people all the time. And I don't know, I need a turnaround. Okay. Um, are you only relying on um, the post that you put up to ask for host to post or maybe your feed? Is that the only way that you're asking? Mostly do it in the feed. I've never done it in like a story or or what you, you said friends list yeah you need to do your friends list because i was just about to say that because there's a lot of people that you're missing not yeah. by not going through your friends list and so you'll be surprised to start at your friends list and go from a to z and you'd be like dang i ain't asked this person dang i ain't asked this person so start there um and see the people that you're missing first um, and then we did go through um, giving out a giveaway post to those people who are consistently wanting an entry into your giveaway is just giving them a giveaway post so that you can tap into new, new markets and new networks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That's, That's good. good. Um, and then Shakima asked if you can do host a post on Instagram, you can actually do host a post. It, it may be more difficult for people to put up a post on their wall. Cause you know, the aesthetic. Yeah. but um <laughs> that was so petty but um sometimes they will they sometimes will like sometimes I'll have people ask me like you want Instagram I'm gonna put it on there too and I'll be like mm -hmm. oh, okay bet yeah. um but yes you can absolutely but normally they'll say yes more than likely for the story yeah. but you want to mess message your followers not your not your not the people you're following but your followers because those are the people who their mess your their your message will actually go through because they're following you um, yep. You start sending to people you're following, it's pointless. Like they don't even follow you, mm -hmm. um, but just make sure that they tag you. And then when you, when they do tag you, you screenshot it so that you have a validation of their, um, yep. their entry. So if they did win, you'd have the validation that it was in their story. So mm -hmm. then you'll just keep a folder on your, your phone or whatever of all the people who put it in their stories. And then you want to make sure that there's a call to action on your post that mm -hmm. you give to put on their story, excuse me, like call or text this oh. number you can have them tag you like reach out to this person but i would just have them text this this word to your phone mm -hmm. right so text 
gummies to whatever your number is. So you have to be okay with giving your number. And I'm going to tell y'all straight up, be okay with giving your number. Stop making them Google numbers. Like, stop. That's why y'all be missing out on a lot of money. Like, it's not that deep. I promise you, it's going to be okay. If you take it seriously, you will not have nobody playing on your phone. In all um, my years, I've never had anybody playing on my phone. And I my my number has been all over, okay? <laughs> Yeah, and then Asha said you can give them a reel to post in their stories. Um, you can do that, but I, I would, I would rather give them an actual story because mm-hmm. they would have to watch the reel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can do that, but I, I would say do the, do the slide because they can see it straight up. Um, mm-hmm. and you can, you can create your own slide, put your own before and after picture on there. It's very simple nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, I do both Facebook and IG host the post. Okay, great. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Yep. Any other questions? And Asha, if more develops on that, definitely let us know about sharing. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Diamond. It's the last one. We get off here. So I have a question. Like, how did you balance out being a mom, your business? And working like all in one for a day. Like, how did you do that? Say that again. How did you balance out being the mom, working, and your business like all in one day? Like, how did you do that? My calendar. 100%. It was my calendar. So I get up early and then my calendar. So prioritizing and saying no to everything that I need to say no to. And then only saying yes to the things that are important to me, if that makes sense. Um, so my calendar is my bread and butter. And if you're not on my calendar, then it's a no for me. Right. And I prioritize the time that I wanted to spend. So getting you an hourly calendar will change your life. It it really will. And host the post, I'll tell you, I was a case manager. So, um, I would have little pockets of time, even if it was just five minutes, you'd be surprised how much, how many messages you can get out in five minutes when you are focused. We used to do like um, power 30s is what we called them. And we would do timed messages, seven minute in- increments. And within seven minutes, I could get out 40 messages. I kid you not, 40 messages in seven minutes. So if you focus, you can get it done in short amount of time, short amount of time. Mm-hmm. And then planning, like I just got better. I got better at it because I was committed to it, right? So I started meal prepping. I started to buy containers for when I cooked so that when we had leftovers, I was able to put them in containers so that they didn't have to ask, like your food is right there. Um, It was prepared and and I was just better. You get better as you keep going. Let me just say that. You start to figure it out. Okay, that makes sense. I'm trying to like balance it all out. And get used to it, so it make it makes sense. Yes, be golden. All right, Brittany, you want to close this on out? Yes. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and pray and get up off this thing. Um. And I hope that you guys did take notes. Um. And I really hope that this um explodes your post to post for this month. Um. Your business, all of that. Um. Because it definitely, I I say this. I said this back when I first found host post that I was going to host post my way all the way up the income chart. And baby, I've been doing it. So if you can buy into this and really focus on it, um, it'll change the game for you and your business. And so, um, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for um, this space. We just thank you so much for the hearts and minds and the, the willingness for them to come and be in this space and to learn how they can really take host to post to the next level um, and really just take their businesses to the next level. I ask that you bless everyone under the sound of my voice. Um, Give them a a double portion for just really wanting to show up for themselves and show up for their business. Um, Just give them the courage to um, go out and ask um, become a ask of your, make a ask of themselves, give them the courage to do that. Give them the boldness, um, give them the lack of caring about what somebody says, or if somebody responds, or if somebody actually puts the host of posts up, just give them the, the word with all this, just continue to do what is necessary and continue to walk and press towards the mark. And, um, 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 know that you will put your super on their natural if you have something to put it on. And so we just love you. We adore you. We ask that you bless our businesses and just continue to give us favor in every conversation and situation that we're in. Um, it's in your son Jesus name, I pray. Amen. 
let's kill it. I'm I'm expecting to have a lot of or see a lot of names on that spreadsheet. <laughs> All right, y'all.